Chief White House Correspondent Chuck Todd is also standing by for us. Chuck, uh, I Chuck, this is going to be a very interesting debate and vote for a number of reasons. Of course, in addition to Syria, there's an immigration bill that is also sure. uh, on the Hill right now. There are a number of looming budget deadlines as well. And right. oh, now, by the way, starting September 9th, there is going to be quite the vigorous debate and then a vote on military action. Well, there, to me, there were two extraordinary uh, aspects of the president's uh, remarks there. One, and they and behind the scenes they'd been dealing with this problem for quite for all week which was what is the hurry and they could never come up with a rationale publicly to satisfy whether it was Ban Ki-moon or uh, at the UN or whether it was a member of Congress of why did the strikes have to happen now what's with the rush to do this now why can't it wait well what did the president just go out there and say you know what we're not in a hurry we can wait this can take place over the next month the other extraordinary aspect is, uh, Craig, in the last 30 years, essentially since you could go back a little bit to Dick Cheney uh, when he was chief of staff for Ford, but really starting in 1980, every president from Reagan on had been going about trying to strengthen the powers of the executive branch little by little. And Congress over time had sort of allowed it to happen. And here's the president on a decision on airstrikes. This is not a decision about putting troops into another country. This is a decision on simply airstrikes, something that, frankly, I think every president going back to Reagan has done without congressional authorization somewhere at some point in time. And he's saying, calling Congress's bluff and saying, OK, you want in on this? Fine. Now, I can tell you the House vote is going to be so tricky. This is going to be a, 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 there are going to be splits in both parties on this. You're going to have Nancy Pelosi and John Boehner on one side basically having to find the votes necessary to get this resolution passed. The two of them both apparently are supportive of some action at this point. But if you recall, the NSA funding vote, you remember the Justin Amash, John Conyers vote a couple weeks ago where it, they came extraordinarily close to passing a bill that would have essentially taken some money away from the NSA on surveillance. It was a, a split in both parties on the bill. Very narrowly, it got defeated. That's the way to look at how this vote on Syria will go. Go back to that vote. You'll see the Republicans and the sort of the, the liberal wing of the Democratic Party, the uh, isolationist wing of the Republican Party. They were on the losing side, but boy, did they come close. They got some 200 plus votes. And Chuck, it would also seem to me that this is not just going to be a vote on military action in Syria. This is in a lot of ways going to be a vote on America's role in the world moving forward, no? That's right. Should America play the world's police officer, right? Are we the ones in charge of deciding when an international law is broken, like uh, Assad did with these chemical weapons? Is it, if, if since there's no other country that is willing to step up, is this the role of the United States? It's the role the United States believes has been playing uh, for some 60 years. Uh, the question now is, there does seem to be this war fatigue because of Iraq. 20 years ago, it was because of Vietnam. But is that going to uh, make this Congress very hesitant? I think in the House, it's going to be close. I assume they'll get it passed. The Senate will be an easier, uh, an easier hurdle for the, for the president to clear on this. The House is where it's going to be hard, where it's going to be tricky, and where they have a lot of work to do. But, Craig, this all goes back to conversations I had last night you know, with some national security officials who were admitting that the issue with Congress, they sort of were poo-pooing it a couple days ago, that the issue with Congress was more of a problem than they realized. And considering everything else that they got on their plate with Congress, right. government funding, immigration, debt ceiling, alienating them on, on Syria would have made things that much harder for the entire agenda. All right, Chuck Todd Forrest from 1600 Pennsylvania. Chuck, thank you.